This video is all about the mathematical finance and in this we are going to learn about the ordinary annuity. We will also see the future value of an ordinary annuity in this um, section. An annuity is a sequence of equal periodic payments and if the payments are made at the end of each time interval, then the annuity is called an ordinary annuity. Instead of at the end, if it is made at the beginning of each time interval, it is called an annuity due. The amount or future value of an annuity is the sum of all the payments plus the interest earned. So the future value of an ordinary annuity is calculated using the formula. Future value is the payment what you are making multiplied by 1 plus i whole raised to n minus 1 over i. Where Fv is the future value, payment is the periodic payment, i rate of uh, interest per period, usually in decimals, n is the number of payments period. Payments are made at the end of each period. Let's find the future value of an ordinary annuity. The question is, what is the value of an annuity at the end of 20 years if 2000 is deposited each year into an account earning 8.5 percentage compounded annually? How much of this value is interest? So since the payment is 2000, the rate of interest is 8.5 which is 0 0.085 and that is your I because uh, it is uh, um, paid annually and uh, the future value will be 96,754 and 3 cents using the formula future value is payment times 1 plus I whole raised to N minus 1 by I. We can also use a ca calculator. <clears throat> we can use the app uh, finance um, mode under the applications if we select finance then under this I can substitute n is equal to 20, i is 8.5, um, the principal value is 0 but the payment is 2000 and uh, it's paid per um, annually so by payment per year accumulated per year is 1. So let's move the cursor to future value and then and press, um, um, second um, enter which will give you the calculation, the answer for it, which is negative 96754.03. So <clears throat> since it is going out, it is given as a negative. So we know that the value for the future value is 96754. In this, we have to remove the deposited amount because you are paying 2000, 2000, 2000 for 20 years, which is 40,000. If that 40,000 is removed, the remaining 56,754 is the interest. Now to find the rate per period, we know that I is R divided by M and also the number of periods N will be M times T. So if the quarterly deposit of 500 are made for 20 years, that pays 8% compounded annually, then in this case, my I will be R divided by M, 0 0.08 compounded quarterly. So the period payment period is 4 and I is 0 0.02 and my N will be M times T, M is 4 and the time T is 20 years. So N will be 8. If the monthly deposit of 235 is made for four years with a 9% interest compounded monthly, then my I will be R by M, which is 9% paid monthly, so M is 12, and you get the value of I is 0 0.0075, and N will be 48. If the future value is given, N and I are known. If we want to calculate the value for the payment, we can simply use that in a graphing calculator, enter the value, move our cursor to payment, and then select uh, second 
enter to calculate the answer. So if you're trying to find the answer, that is $310.62. Now in this case, if I am trying to find N, the number of payments, I know that <coughs> my N, it will be 16.99 in this case. So if I um, round this to the whole number, since N represents the payment period, N will be 17. If the future value payment and N are given, and if I am trying to find the I interest rate, then uh, entering this in the calculator, it is easy to get the value for I, which is 9% or 0 0.09. So this video helped us to understand to how to calculate the future value for the ordinary annuity using our graphing calculator. You can use the formula or you can use a graphing calculator to get the result. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching this video.